up? Good morning. Hello, it's LL. I'm down here in Key Largo. Um, I haven't been down here in a little bit, but I'm excited to get out and hopefully shoot some nice fish. The target today is my bucket list fish, the African Pompano. Um, the boys have been out scouting, so hopefully we find what we're looking for. Are you in the video? Sure. Good morning, Steph. Good morning. <laughs> All right, here we are, beautiful day, ocean reef, sun is shining, wind is not blowing, it's almost too good. Fishing. Um, we've got some guys out here that have not done it before, so it should be fun um, to see Maybe them. We'll find some APs. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's why we're really here. <laughs> Super excited. My bucket list fish is the AP. I've always wanted to get one. Never even seen one in the water, but actually, Steph has been very lucky lately. On um, our last first trip, time, first, yeah. you got your very first. I'll let you tell the story. Yeah, got my very first zero <laughs> mackerel on the last dive of the day. Yeah, we yeah. were heading in and one more dive. So let's get it today. It was amazing. Yes, hopefully more first today. Bye, guys. Here we are, we're at the very first spot. We decided to make a slight change of plans and stay a little bit shallower today. This is just such a beautiful reef here in Key Largo. There's so much life and so much to see. I can't wait to share it all with you. I know that a lot of you are getting very invested in me finding that AP, the African Pompano. Trust me, I want to find it too, and I know that it's going to be soon. I really appreciate everybody sending me so many tips, sending me your fishing spots, telling me what time to go, where to go. I actually feel like I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing, even though this fish somehow continues to evade me. I actually have another exciting video coming up where a friend of mine may or may not find one, so make sure you keep watching. And trust me, when I do find that fish, I'm going to deserve it and it's going to be so worth it. You're going to see excitement like no other. And also let me know in the comments if there's any fish that you would really like to see me hunt. I have some awesome trips coming up. I'm going to Mexico in December. I'm going to the Bahamas this weekend. And I'll be in Panama a couple times this winter as well. So lots of great opportunities coming up. So at least one bad. Thank you, thank you.
Whenever I'm diving, I always try to pick up any trash that I find. Here you can see how similar to a jellyfish this plastic bag looks. I'm just happy that I found it before a turtle did. Here I spot a nice hogfish from the surface. I dive down to make sure that it's at least 16 inches in length per FWC regulations. I take my time to line up the perfect shot. Bam, got him. Moments later, I spot a nice red grouper. Before I even have a chance to take my hogfish back to the boat, I decide to reload my gun and go for it. Uh-oh, the weather's looking a little dodgy in that direction. Let's check out a different spot. A lot of fish here, but not the right ones. Let's keep moving. Look at this little trigger fish hiding in this hole. Now isn't that a reminder to watch where I'm sticking my hands? Looks like I found some lobsters, but man, they made me work for it today. Look at what else I found. It looks like somebody lost their chum bag. You know what they say, one man's trash is another's treasure.
<laughs> All right, we've got three bugs in the bag. Let's get these lobsters back on the boat. Check this out, it looks like our friends found some too. Enough lobsters for now. Let's shoot more fish. For the past few years, I've been using a completely custom wooden gun that a friend built for me in his garage. I have so many great memories with this gun and I've put so many great fish on the boat with it, but it's definitely time for an upgrade. I can't wait to bring you all along with me when I go down to the Florida Keys and pick up my brand new custom gun. Also for the ladies, as a side note, I'm a big proponent of not overpowering your gun, especially on the reef. I mean, if we're hunting big tunas, that's one thing, but on the reef, too much power is really unnecessary and it takes too long to reload your gun. I like it where it's fast and easy. This gun has no trouble punching through fish. Alright, there's the fish I was looking for. There's another yellow jack. As I mentioned before, it's one of my favorite fish to eat. If you look closely, you can see his buddies circling him, hoping that he's going to be an easy meal. However, he's not going to be their meal, he's going to be mine. I quickly pull the fish up out of the water because he's struggling and I don't want to attract sharks. I quickly remove the shaft and insert it directly into the fish's brain. This kills the fish quickly and ends any suffering. Also, as I mentioned before, I don't want to attract any predators that are higher up than I am on the food chain. I do a final scan of the area and decide that it looks pretty safe. Just moments ago, I saw those other yellow jacks in the area, so I decide to reload my gun and also gut and gill this fish in the water. I'm going to use what I removed for chum. Also, gutting and gilling the fish preserves it for better eating later.
His buddy circled back around momentarily, but unfortunately did not fall for my trap. All right, let's switch over to the stuff cam and see how my friend is doing. On the reef, my friend dives with a wooden rife gun. She also uses a double flopper shaft. This helps keep more fish from sliding off. Nice work, Steph. Looks like she found more lobsters. Looks like she found a super cute hogfish. Unfortunately, she's just not big enough. Now there's a nice lobster. Here you can see Steph lining up on a snapper despite having two hands full of lobsters. because right here, that's where they hold the eggs. See there? Oh, that's, yeah. yeah. Nice. That's the female. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, Not really. really. <laughs> and normally the females are bigger because they're smarter than that. <laughs> Standard.
Man, that day on the water was so amazing, but it's always so nice to come home to my boy Benjamin. I wish I could bring him on the boat with me when I'm diving, but he barks like crazy. He does love fishing though, so hopefully we can do a trip together soon and share it with you. But for now, stay tuned for the catch and cook. For the first course, I decided to make a delicious ceviche. I like to add cucumber for that extra crunch. I also made a set of lobster tails. Who can resist? This dinner for two was absolutely perfect. In fact, we enjoyed the lobsters so much that I also decided to make lobster omelets for breakfast, one of my specialties. There's just something so special about waking up to lobster. <laughs> 